I'm going to explain about uh, special registers of Cortex M3 process. In Cortex M3 process, we have mainly three special purpose registers. So the first one, it's called as program status register. The short form is called as PSR. And second one, intraout mask registers. Within these intraout mask registers, again, we have three classifications. I will discuss you later. And the last one is control registers. So what is the use of special registers? The special register role is very important in microcontrollers to perform a specific operations. What kind of operation it is? For example, so here we look into these three types of uh, uh, special registers. Program status registers to monitor, to find the status of the program. Zero flag is generated or not. Negative flag is activated or not. Carry flag is activated or not. Or it can be generated or not. So like this. Some specific operation is performed by these special registers or sometimes it's called as special function registers. Okay, these three special function registers or functions can be accessed only by special instructions. So general instruction is not allowed to access these special instructions. Only some set of instructions is available to access these instructions. In these today's sessions, I will going to explain about even some special function registers and some instructions. What kind of instructions support for these to move the data from special register to the general purpose registers? and general purpose register to the special purpose registers. OK, now we are going to discuss one by one these sessions. So first I'll come to that, the list of these three special registers, program status register, interrupt mask registers, and control registers. So it is these same registers for these representation in the mnemonics, we are going to express XPSR, that is called as Program Status Register, Primary Mask, PRI Mask. It is a one type of register from interrupt mask registers, fault mask registers, base PRI. It belongs to, these three belongs to the interrupt mask registers. And the last one is control registers. So here, no, don't confuse these. Special registers, mainly three types, program registers, interrupt mass registers, and control registers. Interrupt mass registers, again, we have three classifications. That is what we mentioned, PRI mask, fault mask, and last one, base PRI. Okay, now we're going to discuss uh, these 